Good morning everyone, welcome back to my vlog channel. So today is in fact Sunday the 9th of February. I have spent the morning editing up a vlog. My last vlog that will have gone up is the vlog that I've just spent editing. Probably got a weekly vlog this week just because I'm not really doing anything super significant. In fact, there's quite a lot going on this week. I'll, I'm not going to explain what's happening. I want to show you. Instead of just sitting here and telling you, I'm going to take you along, show you what's happening. However, today is Sunday. I have all my like stuff done, i.e. my YouTube videos edited, my main channel videos edited, my vlogs done. I need a haircut today. I've had the past two days I've been in the house alone. Basically Freya and Haz, obviously Haz is in Australia with her boyfriend. Freya went back to her auntie and uncles to visit them. So I've had like the weekend alone. It's now Sunday, Freya's back this evening. But I haven't really done anything. I've been so bored. I thought I would absolutely love my own space. And I, don't get me wrong, I have loved it. But I've also been like a recluse, is that the right word? I've literally just sat in my bedroom the entire time and watched things on my laptop and not done much. I did film a few videos, but... I've not really done anything super productive and I definitely haven't left the house. However, there's a storm today, so I don't think I'll be leaving the house. I really need to get my hair cut, but the problem is we go to Paris at the end of the week and I need my hair cut before then, but Haz doesn't come back until when we're actually in Paris, which is really annoying actually. Haz arrives back home when we're in Paris and I didn't realise that were going to happen, which is kind of annoying. But obviously I need a haircut before Paris because I want to get some fun Instagrams and I just need a haircut anyway, like I just need my haircut, it's awful. I'm going to get dressed and figure out if I want to go get my hair cut, you know? The thing is, so in the last vlog you will have seen, I hung all my clothes nicely on coat hangers, but look how fucking full my wardrobe is. I actually cannot fit anything else in here. Like, the clothes won't even, like, lay straight and nice or anything. The coat hangers aren't even sitting on, but the clothes are still in there because it's that full. If you know what I mean. Like, this is not even on there, and it won't go in because it's that full. So, I don't know how I'm gonna pick an outfit, because quite honestly, I can't really see what's in there, not gonna lie. I need to call. I should probably call up first and see if I can actually get an appointment. In fact, I'm gonna get dressed first, then we'll call up. But I don't really know how to go about. Like, I literally can't. Like, I physically don't know how this pole's holding up. I really honestly don't. Thanks for coming to Rush with Hi, I'm just wondering if you've got any appointments for a guy's haircut today. Well, I thought he booked today, sorry. Alright, no worries. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Bye -bye. Um, so that's my plans gone out the window. Um, I might just cut my own hair. Right guys, so I'm not going to go and get my hair cut today, as you saw, the person on the phone didn't seem too enthusiastic, but also didn't have any places. Um, this is my outfit, very basic, old grey moment, even the slippers. I bought these Ugg slippers the other day, because I saw Urban Outfitters started stocking Ugg slippers and I could get discounts. So I um, picked these up, and they are the comfiest things ever. I've literally lived in them ever since they arrived. My new mode of transport, I should have got a bigger size though, because they're so fluffy. My foot like slightly hangs out the back a little bit. That's the situation, I'm going to go into the kitchen. I saw some food. I'm just gonna have a cozy day today. I'm gonna go on Instagram and ask you guys if there's any Netflix series or films or anything you think I should watch and I'm just gonna have a real cozy day and then I'm gonna start the week tomorrow, go and get my hair cut or I'm gonna cut my hair myself tonight. I'm not yet 100% decided on what I'm gonna do and we're just gonna see where today takes us. Oh my god, I forgot. I have these um, garlic breadsticks. Actually, I'm gonna take these into the kitchen and warm these up. I got these yesterday because I had Domino's for my dinner or my lunch. <laughs> So it is now the next day. I'm going to get my teeth professionally whitened. I've never had this done before. I'm literally still outside the building right now. But I thought I would start this little vlog clip beforehand. I also want to show you my teeth. But I want to do it in there. So I'm in the exact same lighting like before and after. Um, but I just got an Uber here. I'm going to go in any second. And I'm nervous. But I'm excited at the same time. I think this is the right place. This is the right place. Right. <laughs> Right, and we've Dr. Richards now. We've just Hi. done all the um, moulds of my teeth and it reminded me of when I had braces on, like I've not had anything like that done since I had my braces on, but here I am in these fun glasses. We're about to do the whitening and all that fun stuff. Ready yeah. to go. Ready to go. Hopefully we'll um, have some pearly whites afterwards. Yeah, gonna look brilliant. Perfect. Let's go. Oh my god, in my camera yeah. as well. That's crazy. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? That's so quick as well. It's incredible, isn't it? 
Good morning everyone, so it is the second day of this vlog, actually it's the third day of this vlog but I'm going to insert the second day's footage. I just wanted to say I didn't really film much yesterday, I did try and vlog the entire day but I ended up meeting Anna for lunch and then we literally just sat and chatted and went shopping so I didn't really film anything after I had my teeth done but I went and had my teeth whitened yesterday, that's what my teeth look like now, I'm really really happy with the results. I've got to go and collect my trays at the end of the week, however today is Tuesday, I have uni, I have like a tutorial thing where I go in, show my project so far discuss my ideas and just see if I'm on the right track and make sure I'm doing everything correctly so I've got that I woke up super early this morning but I've been sleeping really bad I don't know what it is and I don't know if it's because the weather's really bad but the little window that's right there you can't even see it because it's so exposed there's a window right there and it sends the biggest draft through my room which means my door does this all night which is really annoying I've tried to put a weight behind the door stop it doing it but it just doesn't seem to doesn't seem to be helping it it actually looks like a nice day today like as you can see by the shot it's very bright indeed it's actually so bright out today that I've walked the entire way like this because it's so bright um but I'm really at uni now <laughs> And just like that I'm back home. Uh, I look super red because it's literally freezing cold outside. My eyes are cold. You know like when you're walking and the air's burning in your eyes, my eyes are watering the entire way. But I made it to it, made it back. I just had a tutorial thing, so I literally please <laughs> bless my soul. I um we're only in there for half an hour, so it weren't long at all. I feel like I'm blending into the kitchen. Uh, I'm gonna sit down and chat through what my tutorial was like actually because it was really really good. I went in there and I thought originally I was gonna go in and they were gonna shit all over everything I wanted to do and basically tell me that I needed to make it more fashion, I mean more photography based. I've realised over the course of time being at uni that I don't actually want to be a photographer. I don't know if I went into it knowing that I wanted to be a photographer. I don't think I did. I think I just enjoyed photography and didn't know what else to do so I was like right cool. While I'm figuring out what I actually want to do in my life I'll just do photography at least I'll get a degree and I said this multiple times online this is not like new news but I really realized over the last two years that I actually I'm beginning to hate doing it because I felt forced into having to do it before photography was just something I did in my spare time just picked up my camera shot here there and everywhere and I was leaning more towards video and moving image obviously I video edit do YouTube all this stuff I'm constantly working with video not images I'm still obviously working with images but not like on a professional level so I thought today we we're gonna go in and basically we've got to create for our final major two portfolios of work one that consists of professional images that can be taken to a brand as like hi get me a job and then also a more personal body of work that just reflects you as a photographer and I was like fuck my life I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do and I went in and we had a nice chat and it was really nice and he is really lovely and really interested in what I want to look into and told me to completely forget the idea of having two portfolios and just do what I want to do produce what we've talked about producing saying he said the quality of your work speaks more volumes so I'm just gonna try and I'm obviously still gonna have to create a portfolio of personal work and a, a portfolio of professional work but he was like don't worry about that until the end like we'll we'll figure that one out so I'm really reassured actually and I'm glad I went overall probably makes no sense to you guys watching because I'm not explain what I want to do for my projects because I'm still figuring it out and I also don't want to explain it just yet I want to like get working on it and like show you me working on it without having to explain what it is but yeah, that's the situation. I didn't have breakfast before I left, so I'm gonna make myself some breakfast and get on with my day. I definitely need to go to Westfield's that and I definitely need to buy a new camera. If I wanna do what I wanna do, I need to buy a new camera. So I might go to Westfield's and have a look in Curry's. Right, I'm all dressed and ready to go to Westfield's now. I'm gonna go and um, see if I can get my hair cut and also have a look, see if I can find a camera that I like. I'm just wearing this blazer, which is from Urban Revival, and then I have this corduroy shirt on from Urban Outfitters. White jumper, knitted jumper from Mango. I have my pearl necklace on. Little bucket hat moment and then I have these really cool tracksuit bottoms that I bought the other day from Cold Laundry, my Balenciaga shoes on and then the bag that I always wear. This is the outfit, very very fun, very fresh. I'm gonna literally go to Westfields, have a little mousse round and he's got a super drug and stuff too so I'm gonna do that and then come back and film a video. <laughs> the best boyfriend in the world. Ta-da! Scrunchies! Joe, it's I got on for free. Hi! 
They're just giving them away when you spend a certain amount of money. Why? I don't know. They're I think they're dead stock, yeah. Well, but we'll yeah. say I bought them. Yay! <laughs> right, I've been shopping for a little while and I bumped into two strangers. We also went for Byron Burger. I've basically not filmed much at all uh, and I'm also filming on my Who phone. Look who I bumped into. Got Quan and his assistant. <laughs> Right, we're basically just shopping for Josh. I've done some cheeky purchases, so I'll show you these when I um, get back home. But literally all I did is get my hair cut, get these, and we've just been for food. It's not even been too much longer since I've actually last picked up my camera, but here we are now. Why do I look so weird? I look so young. This is my new hair, guys. I need to wash it and style it, but this is my new hair. So cute. Uh, it cost me £51, which I'm not too impressed with. I didn't ask for a price beforehand, and I think I got given like the top stylist person. I remember looking online, and it goes in order of like different people, and he must have been like the top top dog, which I'm kind of impressed by, because he really cut the top of my hair that like, you won't have to see now until I actually style it. But as he was blow drying it, I was looking at my hair thing, and he just cut it like a certain way that it just sits differently. Anyway, I sold Haz out, which normally cuts me my hair. Just ignore what it looks like right now, but I'm going to show you what I got from the shops, and then I'm going to have a shower and get into bed but my battery's flashing so I need to change that first. Full time! I wanted a black fluffy hat for a little while since I've been wearing my white one a lot I wanted to get the same one literally from Urban Outfit as the same exact one but in black in fact I don't know if it look, makes me look like one of them um people that stand outside Buckingham Palace like if I have it like this then like yep but I'm not gonna wear it like that and we're gonna make sure it's styled correctly. I know I'm gonna look like the biggest poser ever because it's an Aerosmith t-shirt and I don't listen to Aerosmith, never have listened to Aerosmith and I asked the person working in about for us if I should buy it or if I look like a massive poser. But I want like some fun t-shirts. I really like the colour of it, like the colour of this black, it's like a washed black with a red. I think it'd be quite fun, it also goes nice with these colour trousers so I thought you know what, kind of fun, kind of fresh, pick that up. Uh, and then I also picked up this, this is a bar Again, just a long trench coat because we're going to Paris this weekend and I really want, this sounds so dumb, I wanted a trench coat anyway. I picked this up, it should have been £99 and it was on sale for 30 well 28 but yeah I picked this up from Urban Revival, it's really really nice. I'm going to try it all on in a second. Little purchases of today, very nice. Imagine me in Paris like, bonjour ça va. I feel like Inspector Gadget with this jacket on. But this is the jacket, really fun, really fresh. This is the t-shirt. I don't know if I'd wear these together, however, I do think the colour palette kind of works. Like, imagine I've got my face in, I feel like this little moment kind of works. But I just thought, for a little Paris moment, I also didn't know what jacket to take to Paris. I think this is very Parisian, very fun, very fresh. I obviously wouldn't really wear it with these trousers, but I think it's really cool. I just washed my hair, and it still looks bad, but I just toned it as well, so now it should be all one colour. If anyone said it's not, I'm gonna fucking punch you. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I think because I'm in the mentality of this being a weekly vlog, I'm picking up my camera when I'm doing like more topical things, as opposed to when I daily vlog, I pick up my camera when I'm doing anything. So I'm currently just sat in bed with some chocolate buttons. It is, what time is it? It is half past 11 and um, I just watched Love Island. <laughs> Thank you. 